Hey Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? I had a request from M Woods who asked, can I draw a swallowtail butterfly? That's a hard butterfly to draw, but I'll try and do it the draw stuff real easy way, which means you need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. You have to work out quite how wide you want your drawing to be. So this is going to be the line down the middle of the body. And then look, I'm pressing really, really gently here because I know I want to I want to erase it later. The harder you press, the harder it is to erase later. So I'm pressing very gently. So draw a line like that. And then what we're going to do is let's say the drawing is going to be about that wide. If you want, what you could do is to get a piece of paper like that and mark it so they're exactly the same on each side. And another thing you can do is you can just kind of fold it there. So you get a little mark there so you know that's halfway. So what we're going to do is put a halfway mark and a halfway mark. And then we're going to drop down here this way. So that would be uh, a halfway mark down there. <laughs> and then we can, uh, I just, I'm just going to use that like a ruler, but it's very basic. I, just, I don't think it's very straight, actually. But anyway, that's about it. And what we're going to do is we'll put a mark there and a mark there. And we can do mark there and mark there. And these, these marks are really quite important getting the whole plan of the whole thing about right. Now, if you get that worked out, that will give you the basic kind of plan of what we're going to do. So we want to come down around about here and that's going to be the head. And then we want the body to be about there. And then the thorax is going to come to just below. But yeah, so yeah, just below like that. And we'll have the antennae coming out at the front. So then the wing is going to come from here. And we're coming up to that point there. And then we're curving very round very gently to about there. So we come up there and gently down to about there. And then that's going to want to just curve around there. And then we're aiming for this point here. So this is going to be kind of a curve at the bottom. And that's going to come straight-ish ish up to there and then that's going to come down to there and then that again will be coming up to there so this is quite close together here like that now if we've got that on a line there we want to come just in a little bit so sort of something like about that <laughs> there and we're working in these kind of boxes down there and we're coming just slightly out and around and here we've got, so it's just coming slightly out from the, the abdomen and in and around and work it. So it just comes just slightly outside the box and up to meet in the middle there. Now the famous swallowtail bit is going to be here. So we'll curve that down there like that. If you do one, <laughs> if you do one side and then the same on the other, then you'll sort of be getting there like that. And then that is going to come around just slightly below the box, in fact, like that, to about there. And then we want to come up, cur curving up like that. And then we have that kind of bulge in there. And that's going to give us that kind of swallowtail look. <laughs> now I can start on the ink. So we have a line coming down from the head kind of like that. I'm going to shade that in quickly. And then we've got a little kind of furry line <laughs> like that with the eyeballs on the outside. So I'm drawing little balls, but not quite shading them all in. So we've got a little shininess from the from the eye. And then we want the um, antennae coming out there like that with a little kind of blob on the end. So they're a little bit furry, in fact. Uh, that furry kind of body and we're going to get kind of furriness around there. We've got the thorax which is the sort of the body part. So this is the upper body, the, the, the lower body as it were. And we have a kind of a wiggly line like that and that can be shaded in all the way like that. And then you can sort of put lines across there as well. Now I'm going to go all the way up and around and all the way here as well, like that. All the way 
up and around and down and back up there. What we want to have is, because this is kind of like, it needs to be stronger nearer the body and then sort of thinner as you go out there like that. So I'll come back. I feel that like needs a bit more on the top there. So I'll come down like that. And then we have a very thin line sort of coming out like that. This is all sort of pattern coming now. And uh, let's stop with the pattern up here. So we're going to have circles. Right, let's do three circles on the each side like that. Let's sort of keep this equal. And then they start to get more oblongy. And so if you do them on each side, then like that, then you'll be sort of getting them roughly equal. And that it's all they're very subtly coloured, but I'm going to make this all a bit sort of <laughs> easier for you. So that will then sort of come along like that. So around and around and around and around and around and around and sort of up there like that. And here we got a kind of a uh, curvy thing kind of like that. Here I'm going to have a line coming there and there. And then it's not quite like this, but I'm trying to make it easy for you. So I'm going to do something like that. So it's sort of echoing these curves. When it's finished, it's going to look great. OK, <laughs> right? Uh, and it might not be exactly what a swallowtail is like because they are incredibly complicated to draw and as I said make this a bit easier and then we're going to want a line that sort of comes out to there and out to there and then we'll have a line there and there and there and let's have another one there and there and there in fact, these need to be a little bit kind of triangular as they come out there. And then we're going to want to have a kind of a curvy triangle coming out of the top there, like that. And then we'll have a couple of little sort of bars across there like that. A bar and a bar. And we probably want one coming across there as well. Now this needs shading in, so I am just going to do that. And while I'm doing it, look, if you are still <laughs> watching this, you're obviously really into drawing. So click down in the bottom right hand corner where it says subscribe and make sure you are subscribed to the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel and keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. And why don't you let me know what you would like me to draw and maybe like M Woods, I'll do a drawing for you. That's the top wing. We're actually going to have to shade this bit in. I'm going to put lines in across there. Uh, you're going to want to shade this area in later in a kind of a grey, and that's going to be a kind of grey there too. So now <laughs> let's draw the outside here. And it doesn't, it looks like you should be drawing it all lumpy and bumpy, but it's interestingly it's not. So that will come around there. And that comes around from the thorax down into the famous swallowtail and then we'll come up there like that. So what we do here is we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this kind of wrinkly crinkly edge is kind of a, an optical illusion. So here we're going to do like a blob and a blob and a blob and a blob. And so <laughs> This will come around there. That's a blob and a blob and a blob and a little blob hanging underneath there. And then again, we can come around and around and around <laughs> and around. And then here we're going to want another blob. And then there we're going to want another blob. And in fact, we really want another bit underneath there too. So I'm going to do one there and one there, which means this <laughs> line here can come around and around. And that will come, here this come around and around and around and around and around and around. Here we have, it's kind of like a peacock's eye, you know, on the peacock feather. So it's kind of orangey brown there and blue on the top. And then you want to have around there that will come around there <laughs> this is really complicated and so we'll have one two three four so so here this will come one two three four five 
and we've got one, two, three, four, and that's going to go one, two, three, four, uh, five, something like that. <laughs> and then we want to come around and around and around and around. I think if it, I don't think it matters if it's perfect. Only you know if you've made a mistake, <laughs> right? This is a secret of drawing. Only you know if you've made a mistake or, or you think it's not quite right. And um, and everyone else would go, wow, that's amazing. So they're really quite hairy here as well. And then we're going to want a kind of a, a line coming down there and we'll make that dark. So it's like a, a loop coming around like that make that more loopy there as well that's good and now I'm going to start shading all these bits here so you want to shade in this bit and I'm going to zoom through it and if you're still watching you might really really love drawing and you might want to come and join me on patreon where uh, you can watch this video without adverts and things like that so if you're in school that might be cool and I'll give you sort of finished images and that kind of thing and, uh, and you will also be helping to support this channel and letting me <laughs> make more videos for you every week. Click the link above and find out more. Keep watching and I'll show you all the different colours you want to put in here. Now I'm going to start around here, including the top half of this eye, with a very pale kind of blue. And then it will go up into greys and up into this area as well. And then the bottom half of that eye is a kind of orangey brick red brown. And then you can paint the rest of it in that amazing pale lemon yellow. And there you are, how to draw a swallowtail butterfly. Thanks for watching and keep coming back to draw stuff real easy. Make sure you are subscribed. <laughs> Please like this video. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.